Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about Palantir Technologies PLTR stock, and we'll be analyzing an article titled, Palantir, The Gift is Back. In this video, we will be discussing artificial intelligence, Palantir's future stock price targets, their growth trajectory, their overall profitability, what we can make of their future share price, and if this company is still a good buying opportunity considering the negative macroeconomic environment we are in right now. So for more videos on Palantir Technologies, remember to go and annihilate that like button, subscribe if you are new, comment your thoughts down below about Palantir Technologies and where you think it is headed in the future, and without further ado, let's dive right into it. I only own a small portion of SoFi Technologies. In my portfolio, it only makes up between 3-4% to of my overall portfolio, and we need to keep in mind that this is a long-term risky singular growth company. This company is not anticipated to pay off in the short term, but rather it's supposed to pay off over the long term. So if you are a long-term stock investor who is willing to add some additional risk to your portfolio, then this company could be for you. However, if you want short-term gains and you want instant profits, then this company probably isn't your thing. However, with that being said and the disclaimer out of the way, on top of how you should always make sure to do your own research regardless of my opinion, let's dive right into the story. The author of this article believes that right now is an opportune time based off of their current share price and buying levels for investors to start dollar cost averaging for this stock. However, you should only do this if you are already not overexposed to the company. If you already own over a 5% allocation to Palantir Technologies, then you are already overexposed and you should not average down your average cost basis in my opinion. Otherwise, this would continuously over allocate you to this company, thus making you take on additional risk which is unnecessary. Originally, the PLTR share price surged based off of their earnings momentum, however, this surge in hype has dissipated over the last few weeks to where the company is falling in their share price, meaning that it is now a better buying opportunity than it was. Remember, we want to buy stocks on their weakness and not while they're going up. We want to buy them on their way downwards because if we hold them for the long term, that's when we are anticipated to make our profits back. The author believes that Palantir is able to leverage their very well-developed capabilities in terms of their artificial intelligence platforms, mainly referring to their Gotham platform as well as their Foundry platform, which will lead to long-term profitability and growth. Palantir has demonstrated real-world results from their extremely innovative artificial intelligence platforms regarding data and analytics. Remember, Palantir is a big data and analytics company which serves both commercial enterprises as well as government clients, and they have more than proven the worth of their overall technology, considering that they have a major exposure to big contracts with the United States government, specifically the Department of Defense, as well as working hand-in-hand -hand with the FBI and CIA on some occasions. The company also recently announced an expansion with their partnership with Microsoft, which is going to help the company in their public sector, because again, we are waiting for Palantir to further infiltrate the public commercial sector, which will lead them to higher revenues and higher profitability. Right now, they are pretty much maxed out in terms of their government contracts, and I think that is going to be a stable income source, but the real future money is in the commercial sector, for this particular stock. Palantir's overall revenues have increased at a very stable rate, even though the growth of their revenues is not as impressive as the original projections that we received from management, which is not ideal, but I'm just gonna blame this on macroeconomic factors because who in their right mind or what companies are gonna spend a million dollars a month on their Foundry platform while major technology companies are laying off swaths of employees to save costs? costs and cut down on their overall expenses. So right now is not a very ideal time to invest in artificial intelligence technology from a commercial standpoint, and that's why Palantir's revenues are below expectations, at least for now. But once the overall macroeconomic economy bounces back, we see that Palantir will make their money back, and the best part is that they are a profitable company, and they're intended to bring in profits for the entire year of 2023, which investors should be looking forward to. Palantir has repeatedly reminded investors not to fall for other unproven hype AI stocks that have yet to demonstrate their efficacy in terms of real-world scenarios. 
Many investors seem to jump on the hype train very early before any real technology or major partnerships are actually established in other stocks. Luckily for us, Palantir has more than demonstrated their real-world capabilities, especially over in Ukraine. Therefore, investors should not fall for the fallacy, according to this author, of chasing quote-unquote hype trains that have yet to prove their worth. Now, clearly for Palantir Technologies, we don't have to worry about this because in my opinion, they have proved their overall worth. Right now, Palantir is just mainly focused on scaling and lowering their overall expenses to increase profitability and grow their revenues. Other companies who are up and coming in the artificial intelligence space, which are trying to rival Palantir, should really be looked at with a critical lens because they have yet to prove themselves such as Palantir already has. The company stresses that there are limitations to what artificial intelligence systems systems can achieve, so we shouldn't put all of our hope into AI stocks anyway. We should have a very well diversified portfolio, which is another reason you shouldn't overexpose yourself just to a singular risky growth company. This is why I like to advocate for investors to build a core to their portfolio, which should make up 50 to 80% of their overall holdings, and these should be things such as index funds, mutual funds, and ETFs. I've said a plethora of times in other videos, I especially like VTI, SCHD, and QQQ as some of the best ETFs for beginners to invest in over the next five years, meaning that they are dollar cost averaging into all three of them at all times, regardless about what the stock market is doing at that particular time. But if you've moved on to more singular risky growth stocks and you already have a core to your portfolio, then Palantir could be one such stock. Palantir has been building artificial intelligence and machine learning systems for the last two decades. They are not new at this, and before artificial intelligence was the talk of the town and being hyped up right now, Palantir has been building these types of systems for around 20 years. That's why they are a leader in this particular space. Now, I do want to mention how Google and Microsoft are currently fighting to produce the best artificial intelligence platforms. However, we don't want to leave behind the ethical considerations that this could bring. Remember, artificial intelligence cannot have free reign, otherwise it could end up somewhat like Terminator where Skynet is taking over. We need ethical boundaries and policies set in place and Palantir is more than aware of this, considering that their CEO is a very intelligent philosopher in this regard. So he understands how AI could could get out of control, but how to put various safety features and policies in place to where this doesn't happen. On the other hand, you have Microsoft and Google who seem to be lowering the overall ethical bar just to get ahead of their competition, which is not wise at all. That's why I like Palantir specifically, because not only are they well positioned in this space, but they are also taking artificial intelligence seriously while accounting for proper ethical constraints to artificial intelligence. For PLTR stock investors, you have seen the Palantir share price drop by around 25% since February highs. And I know this can be demoralizing, because right now I still think the company is somewhat overvalued on an accounting ratios basis. So what does this mean? We should wait for the company to pull back even more before we decide to dollar cost average our cost basis for this company. Again, if you are already overexposed more than 5% portfolio allocation, your best bet is either to lower your exposure or not investing any more into this company and just letting it ride for the long term and you should move on to another stock or company. However, if you are under allocated and you have less than a 5% portfolio allocation, feel free to keep some cash on the sidelines and be prepared to average down in Palantir Technologies, especially as we get closer and closer to a stock market crash or a full on negative recession. Even though technically we are in a recession right now, it really hasn't hit the stock market that bad as of yet. But we do fit the official definition of an overall recession. In the end, there is mixed news coming out about Palantir Technologies, but I like how Palantir is taking ethical guidance into consideration when creating their overall artificial intelligence platforms. This is especially considerate in terms of when people's lives are at stake. For instance, I mentioned how Palantir software is being used over in Ukraine to dictate military personnel. Therefore, people's lives are at stake. So you need artificial intelligence to understand the value of a human life, and you 
need to program it with various ethical principles so it knows what are the best moves to make instead of using people such as human meat shields or fodder in a war just to get a victory in the end. We need to do these things ethically. And that's something I think Microsoft and Google, which are also other companies I own, need to take this into consideration. At the end of the day, Palantir Technologies does have a buy rating according to this overall author, which he changed from his original hold rating. As for me personally, I still have a hold rating on this company as of right now because of macroeconomic uncertainty. Once we get some more certainty in the stock market, then I would say we should buy this company and average down our average cost basis. But as of right now, things are just too volatile for my taste because I am risk averse, so I am holding this company. I am neither adding nor dollar cost averaging down my cost basis as of right now, but I will keep you posted. I would love to hear your thoughts down below about Palantir's partnership with Microsoft Azure, what you think of this company will make of itself in the future, if you're excited for their overall whole year of profitability, which is currently forecasted, and what your average cost basis is for this company. Go and annihilate that like button right now if you made it all the way to the end of this video. Subscribe for more videos like this one. If you're already subscribed, think about becoming a member to support me so I can continuously make more videos just like this one for you. And with that being said, I will see you in the next YT video.